Thanks. Needless to say, there are more questions than answers tonight. Cherokee Force Riley Birdwell has been on the phone all day trying to get reaction from City Hall and even the police. Riley, how far did you get? Well, from the mayor to city directors and police, I've been trying to re get some reaction from several officials here in the city and no answers, at least right now. The police say they're not going to go on camera and only the mayor is issuing a statement tonight. Mayor Frank Scott Jr. saying this in part. Well, that's that the city of Little Rock are both shocked and saddened to learn that a colleague was critically injured in a shooting today. It's impossible for me to adequately express my frustration and anger at this senseless gun violence in which in part a city employee was seriously hurt. This public servant is a member of a team assigned to special projects intended to improve the quality of life throughout Little Rock. He was doing nothing more than his job this morning when he became a victim of gun crime. There are too many guns on our streets and too many people who incorrectly think violence is a way to solve a problem. We must unite to find new and better solutions to address this scourge of gun crime impacting our city. Now, City Director Virgil Miller, who represents residents in Ward 1 where the city employee was shot, did not return my calls. And I briefly spoke with the vice mayor, who said he needed more information before he would comment. Reporting in studio, I'm Riley Birdwell. Back to you, Mitch.